sales of lipstick on the rise, people taking their masks off, socialising more. Yeah. I know you love lipstick. Love um, so there you go. This is like your playground right, today. Guys, let's do this. I just think lipstick is actually quite important. It can be quite empowering lipstick. Some women really do have a lipstick they go to that gives them that confidence. Yeah. And a lot of the time it does happen to be bold ones that do yeah. that. But at the same time, I know that you like quite a neutral, I'm which a gloss is good. kind of girl. Yeah, yeah, I've got some good ones for you. So I had you in mind when I Thank picked you. these. Let's start off with Charlotte Tilbury. Obviously, her lipsticks are beautiful. I love this collection. Basically, I love it, guys, because it's refillable. Oh, clever. Finally, amazing. Really? So, obviously, this collection, does they all come in unique cases, which is great. Is this a different one I've got, Yeah, then? you've got a different one. So, you've got a kind of a beige colour, which is beautiful. I love the fact it's refillable. She's doing quite a lot of kind of sales on at the moment, so you could get a couple of refills for it. So, if you like a neutral and you like a red, you can swap them in and out, and you're left with a beautiful case, which ah, I love. So that's so, a nice colour I've yeah. got. Yeah. It's Can't really it, nice, that one. Can't read that Again, at all. she does she does a really good <laughs> collection of colours. Don't know. No Don't idea. know. It's a nice neutrally pinky brown. That's what I mean. We love a neutral pinky beigey brown. It's the one that all makeup artists yeah. give to. Um, so, yeah, just love the fact it's, re, you know, yes. refillable. I think that's really important and sustainable. And a nice case in your makeup bag. I do like that, yeah. This and I like the classy, fact that you can just it? put that on the side, click in a new one. Yeah. Perfect. Very nice. Um, because I literally have about five lipsticks in my bag at once, so it's do. very handy. Um, Chanel. Now, this launched a few months ago, and I absolutely adore it. The reason I love it is because the pigment of this is incredible. I mean, hello. Are Chanel quite well known for their red lipsticks, aren't they? They are really well known for their lipsticks. They kind of, they're very classic. But the thing that I love about this is it's got so much hydration in it. So it gives you that effect of plumping your lips. So it makes your lips look fuller. It's got light reflecting in it as well. So it's really nourishing, really hydrating. And the pigment in just one swatch is incredible. That so feels it's really lovely. long lasting as well. It feels really and they do kind of last. silky. And, yeah. That's what I love about Chanel. I know that the price range is slightly more, so it's £33, but it's a lot cheaper than a Chanel bag. It's got a bit of sheen on it, that one, as well. It's beautiful, yeah. It's got lots of sheer butter in it and oil, so they're really nourishing on your lips. Again, a lot of people are suffering with quite dry lips, so I think we're kind of stepping away from the kind of liquid mats that stay put and don't come off because we've had to wear the masks. Now I'm trying to introduce you to things that are going to give you a little bit more hydration. Um, MAC. Obviously, MAC are known for great, powerful, extreme colours and stuff. This is beautiful. This is their liquid lip colour. I'm going to go for a bright pink, obviously, to show you. <laughs> but the pigment of this is exactly what you get with their lipsticks. But again, incredible pigment, colour, but it's a gloss. So you've got that sheen, you've got that beautiful kind of like... The way it glides on, it's beautiful. It lasts longer as well, but it does feel like a gloss on, which I like. Um, and also, I love Ooh, the fact dark, that MAC... Isn't it? isn't it gorgeous? But again, they do do neutral ones too. Yeah. This one's more of your, your kind of tone. But yeah. again, do you see how rich and creamy the colours are? That's what I really, really love about these. And I love the fact that MAC have now launched in boots. So really handy for everyone. Well, yeah, that. really good. So it's really, you yeah. know, everyone can get a hold mm. of it and stuff. And I absolutely, I just think MAC do, they always know what they're doing when it comes to lipsticks and stuff. Now, Bobbi Brown. I've been trying to get my hands on this for a long time because I love this idea. This is their Lux Defining Lip, OK? So you've got a lipstick and a lip liner in one. I was one. just going to say, is this a lip liner? Yeah. Or, yeah. It's both. Oh. But I just love it because you can get that definition with that point... If you just have a little look at how gorgeous that is. And does is. that just turn up? Yeah, you literally turn it up. It's also got a little um, pencil sharpener on the end. So you can oh, really clever. keep that super tight. Hang on, where's the pencil sharpener? And the thing sharpener? that I love about these is... Where's it... the pencil sharpener? Oh, oh so yeah, you literally lift it, it off oh, and you wind it up out. so it just like, yeah. Pull and the thing out. that That's I also really like... So when you sharpen it, guys, this is... I learnt this the other day. Sharpen it, it takes off some of the product. If you're particular about it, you can put that in a little pot and use it. As a lipstick. Could do. Do you know what I mean? So there's no Don't waste. Don't think I'm that particular, but... <laughs> there's no waste. <laughs> no. So, this, um, so you can line your lips... Love and the then... fact that you can line your lips with it. So and then fill really it in. So you can really get that definition and then you fill it in. And look how creamy it is when it is filled in. I am hand. actually wearing this one as well as all the others. Um, <laughs> but I love it because I actually like. I was my going to say, it. what colour have you got on? But that's pointless because no, you've literally got a bit of honestly, everything, Honestly, I've got you? that one on, that one on, <laughs> and this one on, so let's, yeah. Um, but the thing is also, the other 
a lot of people, especially youngsters now, are doing that kind of like 90s lip liner. So they're going for kind of brownie tones and then they're going with gloss. You make that sound like it was so long ago. <laughs> I know, it was when I was wearing buffalo, so it wasn't that long ago. But it was that thing of like, that's what kind of we did. So we definitely fill in the lip with the lip liner. And this is what I love about the next one leads us on to the lip dew from Vive. Now, Genevieve is a Instagrammer, so she knows like what's trendy and what's not. And the thing that I love about this is she's brought out just one gloss, this colour, mm. Every, suits every single skin tone and it works beautifully with just a lip liner. So if you're one of those people that just wears a lip liner, fills their lip in, I know that you love spice, for instance. Yeah. And say, so, like, you just haven't, haven't got anything I changed my lipstick for years. So no, Max Spice with exactly. a lip Exactly. But this is beautiful. I'm wearing this on top of the four others that I'm now, wearing. is it glittery? Yes, but is it's it? not glittery. It's swimmable, shall we just? <gasps> I just, honestly... I always find that the way, reason I say swimmable is because when lips are that glossy, you want to dive into them. Oh, I was just going to say, is it waterproof? Is that what you meant? <laughs> I mean, it could be. Um, but it's got Actually, that it's very neutral. Yeah. I just think... And also, you can put that on top of any other lipstick, which is yeah. what I like. And it's not glittery. It's no, a sheen. it's got that beautiful sheen. Again, loads of, like, oils and hydrating products in this, which is what I really like about it. But I actually just love the simplicity if of I it. If I do this, I'll have to keep it, wouldn't I? Yeah, I do. Keep it. Put it on. Oh, um, I'm just going to take a little now. bit off because I've got a couple more to show you, which I'm in love with. Thank you. It's nice, though. Yeah. How nice does it smell? It smells lovely. I know. I love it. Um, and I always am looking for that ultra shiny gloss a lot of the time. It's one of those things that actually is quite hard to find. And I just love that. Moving on, Maybelline. My sister introduced these to me. Yeah, yeah. Yep. She introduced them to me, and I love them so much because they've got hyaluronic acid in, which we all have in our skincare. We're all loving that because it's deep hydration. I think when you, when you say that, people still think, oh, acid. It, yeah, it, no. It's actually it's, very moisturising. Exactly. Yeah. Try and forget the acid bit, just the hyaluronic mm. is amazing. And these are so creamy, but yet they're Maybelline, so they're very affordable. Again, they come in probably about... I'd say about six colours, which Lifter I really gloss, love. Lifter gloss, it's called. Lifter lip gloss, absolutely divine. And again, I've been recommending this to a lot of women who are a bit like, oh, I'm a bit unsure on colours. I'm not sure if I like beige. I don't know. I'm like, seriously, try these lip glosses. They are so beautiful, so hydrating, really nourishing. Um, you would love it. And good price point. So you can really good to... price point, yeah. I mean, these ones are £7.15. Um, I often get three. Because um, I love them. And also, the great thing about them being in Boots and Superdrug and things like that is they're always on offer. So yeah. that's the other thing you need to look out for. If you love something, you can always get a couple and of And get your points. And get your points. <laughs> um, and then, obviously, we have to finish on an SPF. We all wear SPF in the sunshine, obviously, on our bodies, but a lot of the time we forget about our lips. And well, I... We had Dr Mark Porter on, I think, yesterday or the day before, saying exactly that. Yes. We all cover ourselves with sun cream, and actually, often people get cold sores in the sun. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, the... absolutely. Yeah. And it's one of those things that you're kind of like, you have to look after your lips. Um, we were saying, one of the floor managers here was saying she's had a really bad... Because, obviously, we've been wearing masks as well, really bad reaction. Honestly, SPFs are so important. And I do honestly think that my... Um, my lips do change colour in the sun. They get brown. I know yep. people think I'm mental, but it does yeah. happen. Um, this is an SPF 50. And also, this brand is from Australia, so they know about SPF. You know, What's you've the brand? got that coverage. You've got, it's called Ultraviolet. Love it. And the fact that they have four different shades. So you've obviously got is a new one. Is there a clear one? one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this one here is the kind of, it looks clear but it's got a little bit of creaminess to it but it's, again really nice you've got your lip gloss there if you don't want to wear anything please just so make is this sure a color is this a color one there. yeah this that one's got, got a little bit of like a rose tint oh sorry i just got most of the oil instead of the color <laughs> there yeah sometimes you do have to give them yeah. a bit of a mush but lovely again it's super wearable for anyone and everyone so there's really no excuse guys get your lipsticks on and you can... <laughs> Do it! <laughs> I'm wearing five! Final word from Bryony. Get your lipsticks on. I've got every single one. You've I got every you. single yep. one. Thank you, Bryony. No Thanks worries. Thanks very much.